Sky Color by Peter H. Reynolds. Marisol was an artist. She loved to draw and paint, and she even had her very own art gallery. Not all her art hung in a gallery. Much of it she shared with the world. She painted posters to share ideas she believed in. At school, Marisol was famous for her creative clothes, her box of art supplies, and her belief that everybody was an artist. Yes, Marisol was an artist through and through. So when her teacher told the class that they were going to paint a mural for the library, Marisol couldn't wait to begin. The classroom buzzed with the sound of brainstorming. The students talked and sketched. Together they made a great big drawing. Then they marched to the library. I'll paint a fish. I'll paint one too. I'll paint the ocean. Marisol shouted, I'll paint the sky. Marisol rummaged through the box of paint, but could not find any blue. How am I going to make the sky without blue paint? The bell rang. It was time to put their brushes down for the day. As she climbed aboard the bus, Marisol kept wondering. All the way home, she stared out the window. The sun lowered closer to the horizon. What colors the sky? Later at home, Marisol watched the day turn into night. That night, Marisol settled into a deep dream. She drifted through a sky swirling with colors. The colors mixed, making too many to count. In the morning, Marisol stood waiting for the bus in the rain. The sky was not blue. She smiled. At school, Marisol raced to the library. She grabbed a dish and began adding colors. This one, that one. She swirled the brush to make an altogether new color. Marisol then began painting on the wall. A boy asked, what color is that? That, Marisol said, that is sky color. Wow, I love that book, Sky Color. What did I learn from it? I learned that the sky can be lots of different colors, like at sunset or on rainy days. I know that the sky isn't always blue, but I also know that as an artist, I can make an artistic decision to change the color of things. I don't always have to draw things the exact way that I see it. Sometimes it can be more fun to make things different colors. I also learned the vocab word horizon from the sentence, the sun lowered closer to the horizon. A horizon is a horizontal line that goes from one side of the paper to the other and separates the sky from the ground. Today I'm gonna to draw a picture using a horizon line, the line that separates the sky from the ground. I'm using oil pastels, which are a lot like crayons, but a little bit smoother, and I can blend them with my finger by rubbing into it. I'm going to use a lot of fun colors like pinks, purples, and oranges to make my sky super interesting and fun. 